So this is going to be my last Raid Raptor deck profile. Um, I was in the midst of upgrading my Arcana Knight Horus build and figuring out what do I want to do with it because it's like you have to build a strategy. It's not just about just throwing cards in the deck. You have to actually figure out what you want to do with the deck. So I was trying to figure out how to take it to the next level. And there's nobody on YouTube that has... Like if you was to YouTube um, Horus Arcana Knight builds... Um, I'm the only video that comes up so there's nothing else to like compare notes with see if they spark the flame of I can take my deck to the next level so what I can do only, the only thing I can do is look at Arcana Knight builds see if there's something I could incorporate that somebody else has that's spicy that I didn't think of and then while looking at Arcana Knight stuff and then trying to bridge the gap to see how I can I use it to play my deck my way and it was great going to these places and they say, hey, you're that Arcana Knight player that plays with Horus. That's a monster with it. Playing the deck in a way nobody else plays. I'm like, it feels good to be acknowledged for a deck that only you are playing. Um, but it sucks because you're the only one that's playing. And there's nothing like you can you can't look online to see other even if it was something basic to me. Like there's nothing else online because nobody else is posting videos on it. So I figured I just got this um, Raid Raptor deck um, playmat. I just got this Raid Raptor playmat in the mail yesterday. So I was like, all right, the Arcana Knights are incomplete. I'm not going to play with it because I'm not going to use it in the tournament because it's not the way I want it to be. Or I'm confident and ready where it is. I'm like still upgrading and I took out cards. I put in cards and I'm like, it's like in, basically in the, the beta stage. So... I was like, my Arcane, my Raid Raptor stuff, I did change the deck. I took out some stuff. I already accomplished what I wanted to show. Like, I can play with it. And you can have the fun cards. You can play with it pure, pure, pure. And it was, it did what it did. And I've topped other tournaments and won other tournaments. So I figured, since I got the invite, they said get ready. I grabbed my Arcane and I stuff. And I'm like, I'm just going to grab the Raid Raptors too. And I went over logic, over emotion. And normally it's because, you know, you don't believe in the heart of cards. You want to play with your your the deck you love. But sometimes, logically, the more strategic deck is better. So I went with logic. And I was like, this deck is more ready and complete to where I want it to be. Versus the stage of, I'm trying to evolve my other deck. Let me just go with this. And I played flawlessly. I ended up coming in first place. As you can see, we got first place. It was an OTS tournament, so we got $20 store credit, and where they took me, and I just picked up um, five packs of this pack, because I know Rising Rebellion Dragon's in here, and there's a chance I might pull a quarter century um, secret rare, or whatever it's called, and if I do, that would be epic, I won't even have to buy it, that means I literally won it in the tournament, got the pack, and if I pull it, it's upgrade for free, and so I'm going to do the deck profile real fast, and... I can say I played flawlessly, and I did the, the this. I'm some. I'm told multiple times I'm too nice. Where I will say, um, I have no hand traps. Go off, and then they they'll play, and I can go over their board, or they'll come back. But I didn't do that. I wasn't nice until after the duel was over. They thought I had a barrel. I didn't play in a barrel. They thought I had hand traps. I didn't do that. I'm like, okay. So he played. They played safe. And that safe, just I just annihilated them. Because once I went, I drew, activated Ultimate Falcon's effect. He, they powered down by another 1,000. And I went for the OTK, and I just won flawlessly. I played flawlessly. There was no mistakes, no hiccups. I wasn't nice. Afterwards, I'm like, I'm, yeah. You could have did this, this, and this. But I wasn't going to be nice during the game and give you the game for free. It's a tournament, so I'm supposed to be on my A game. And I went with Logic, so... I'm going to do the deck profile real fast, and that's it. And I wanted to play with the playman, so I thought it was cool. Since this game's with Shay and Yuto, and it has um, the dragon and ultimate falcon over here. So I figured, why not? Just play with Raid Raptors, and this will be the last time, and I'm going to focus completely on my Arcana Knight Horus update. And this will be this deck. It's already great. It does great. It's not a challenge to me, so like I like picking decks that can challenge me and has it's like an underdog but there's a high chance of me winning but i can still lose with it and this one just seems like it's just flawless and there's so many people playing it already so i'm like i'm not 
I love the deck. I'll play for it for fun if I, somebody wants to play me. But tournament wise, I want to take my other deck. And there's enough people playing this online. So I like being the only player playing Arcana Knights with Horus versus just another Raid Raptor player, even if it's pure and different than other people. So I changed up like one card in the main and the extra deck has changed. So three Raid Raptor call. This dub it clones the Raid Raptor you have on the field and its effect is not negated or anything. So you get both of their effects if you if if you can do it more than once. And you're locked into Raid Raptors for the rest of the turn. Two Kauris. So you can use this, ditch one, get whatever you want, clone it. So I've used this to get Raider's Wing and then use this to clone it and then have two Raider's Wing on the field and go without worrying about Effect Veil or anything. Roost. One Ness. You can just search out something else. It doesn't even matter if they're cloned. So you could play this with the combo I said, this, search out another one and have an extender. Foolish Burial. I'm thinking about putting two of these. But I have one. I put two of these because they kept banishing it from Graveyard. So, like... I mean, I still want anyways, but I'd rather have the backup. And if I have it, go into something else. One of this. And I like this one because I can turn the XYZ Dragon into Requiem. And then, since I played this... And I did that combo on their turn. If I have this because it's a searchable and... Even when I, I did my combo, I have, like, so much power in the field, and I have, like, four traps face down. And then summoning the big monster, and then um, the link monster lets me search this and activate the same turn. And if I have this activated, since I upgraded the dragon into Requiem, this pops. Uh, Glorious Bright. Phantom Claw. And then the monster, so it's Tribute. Three wings. This was the MVP. To pair it with it, if I didn't draw the other card, it will be Bloom. Three Strangle. Three Fuzzy. Also locks you into Raid Raptors. So it's like the spell does the same thing, but this searches itself out and the spell copies any Raid Raptor. Which is why I played two Mimic Cry. I could do the combo and get two Ultimate Falcons on turn one. Uh, vanishing, two, same thing, and then one Lenore, one here we go. For the final three cards, they they complement the deck, but they're not part of it. So, um, three smogs, it's an extender, and it can search Sky Battle, which I never apply the second effect because you can't. But it offers protection and it shuts stuff down because they like to target. And my opponent's going to do nothing in this tournament where all wing beast monsters cannot be targeted for battle or card effect except your strongest raid raptor. So that's a towers. And because it's a towers, some of their effects have to target two monsters. This says they only could target one, so they couldn't use their targeting effect on that part. I love the deck the way it is. Now for the extra deck, I'm playing two Ultimate Falcons because I figured out a combo to bring them both out turn one or even turn two for the OTK. One will be 55. The other one's 35. So whether it's first or second, if they can't stop it, you have a 55 monster and a 35 and that's game. That's over 8,000. And then they're going to burn after that. So two Rising. There's times that I brought out the second one so they couldn't get over it and, or just keep burning. Two Brave Tricks. You need two Brave Tricks if you want to do... Or you just need two level fives. Two rank fives if you want to go to the Ray Raptor combo. But I like using two of these because they'll just add another thousand. One Arsenal. One Force Tricks. Two Wise Tricks. It comes up. And then two Raiders Knight. One for the Birds and then one for the Dragons. Which is XYZ Dragon. This helped me win two matches. And then we got Rebellion. Like I said, if you could do the combo without using Fuzzy or Raid Raptor, the spell card. Then you can end up with a nice board. And this on their turn. So then you use the spell to go into your big dragon. 
and then Y Strix will activate to set the spell that ranks this up to Requiem. And then like you burn the other card, then you have a negate, destroy, and if you have the trap card, it pops something else too. So you can just play the spell, um, evolve this, the trap pops a card, and then you still have a negate. So it's like a bunch of interruptions. So that's basically it. And I wanted to use the playmat, so I think the playmat's dope, but I want to focus on my Arcana Knights. I love the dragon. It's like it's dope. So I'll play. I'll use this deck for fun when I play with people, and I have three decks in rotation. But I want to focus on my Arcana Knights because that's what I'm known for, and that's what I love the most, and the Egyptian lore behind it. So yeah, that is our first place OTS tournament with Red Raptors. This is the last tournament I'll mentor with them. Hope you play what you love, love what you play. I love the deck, so I also want to play the other deck, though. Upgraded, and it's flawless. And there were times my opponent overthought stuff, so it cost him the game thinking I had Nibiru and stuff, and this is the first time I'm like, I'm not going to be nice and say nothing. If he thinks I have Nibiru, I'm going to let him think I have Nibiru. And it just let me get the wins, so I'm like, yeah. And I told him, why didn't you go bigger? He's like, I was scared you had the beer room and stuff. I'm like, yeah, I don't play hand traps, so that's on you. But I'm not going to be nice in the middle of the tournament and get a loss because I was nice. I'm like, yeah, I'll be nice afterwards. For now, you're going to take this L. <laughs> Later. Play what you love, love what you play, and hope everybody's doing good.